What's going on you guys? I'm back here with another video. So I know it's the New Year's and I already had a problem. I blew out my tire on the way home from celebrating New Year's and all the tire shops were closed the day of New Year's. So let me show you what my tire looks like. As you can tell, my tire is absolutely destroyed. Look at that. Yeah, it's all bad. So as you can see, when the tire exploded, it actually scratched the rim a little bit right here. This happened around 3 a.m. No, around like 2, 3 in the morning. And I had no ways of like getting back home. My only solution was to put this Honda rim on. Look at that. Ew, cringe. At least I was able to throw that on and make it home. It was super cold. My fingers were freezing. Today I'm going to go to a tire shop and see if I could find my size. It's really hard to find this particular size. It's really wide. But let's go and see if we can find it. So I just made it back from the tire shop and they didn't have my size. I was looking for 265s, 40, 18, and they only had 255s. So I'm actually gonna be making two trips. I'm gonna go ahead and replace both my front tires. Um, I just don't want different sizes. And if you're wondering why I'm not taking the Z, it's because I swear every tire shop I go to always has like a really bad driveway and like the gravel's just all messed up and I'm just way too low to deal with all that. So let's get it. As you can tell, the 255s are a little thinner than what I had previously, but it's all good. Maybe that way I won't rub as much. So there it is. I got done replacing both the front tires and they actually look pretty good. Um, I'm just kind of bummed out that I don't have the matching set anymore. Um, I ended up getting two used ones, but eventually I will get the matching set just to have all of the same tires. But for the meantime, this will do. So let me explain how it, it all happened. I was leaving my friend's house and I hit a little pothole and I felt the steering get really heavy, like my car was just jerking to the left a lot. And I'm like, whoa, my car feels like horrible, like the handling's really heavy. And every time I hit a bump, the bumps would feel rough. I'm like, wow, I probably messed up my alignment or something. So I started slowing down and I was only like two streets away from my house. And then I just felt the tire explode and just the, the steering wheel was just vibrating really, really like rough and I'm like okay this is for sure a blown out tire and I could not drive whatsoever and I pulled over my spare for some reason wasn't clearing the caliper like I'd put it on and I try to drive and it was just scraping the brake caliper and I couldn't get anywhere with it so they had a spare for a Honda that picked me up and I just slapped that on and made it home but overall I got everything fixed so that's the story and what I've learned from this is that you really have to check your tires especially if you're lowered or cambered it's really good to check your tires on the inner side because you could still have tread up top but since you're having camber wear it's gonna really eat away at the inside of your tire lesson learned always check your tires before going out especially like on a long trip I'm lucky that I was just across town and it wasn't too bad but had I been in the freeway and it had blown up that'd be a different story but I'm just glad everything's taken care of so it's pretty much gonna be it for the video if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that I have plenty more content coming this year and it's just overall gonna be a good time so I'll catch you guys later see ya Oh, 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 oh,